Hi everybody, it's time for the Coyotero Intention of the Day. If you are here for the first time, welcome. My name's Seth. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're watching this on the replay, thank you. Hey Geneva. Uh, this is meant to be a way for you to, um, uh, <laughs> hi, to hit the, why have I lost my brain today? This is meant to be a way for you to approach the events that occurred during the course of your day with thoughtfulness, mindfulness, and awareness so that you are not just walking through your day kind of blissfully hoping everything's going to happen or even not blissfully, but that you're doing it with intention. So that's the point. If you're looking for a predictive reading, this is definitely not the place for you. Uh, this is not about predicting how your day is going to go. Hey, two time. Was it? It was me at the beginning of the week, so uh, I'm, I thought I was getting past it, but apparently it's still a part of whatever's going on for me this week. Uh, anyway, if these things are helpful for you, please share it with other people, and please follow me so you can keep up with these as you uh, are interested in the intention of the day. I'd love for this to be spread far and wide with other people. Uh, today, I am using the Wild Unknown deck, and the card that I've drawn for today is the Star. And depending on the deck that I use, the star has a has like 50 million different meanings for me. So when I use this deck, there's there's even like like two or three within this. Uh, what's fascinating about this card for me today is that the star looks like it is just like I mean, it kind of so it looks like black uh, night sky back here, right? But to me, it looks like it's like thrusting up. All, there fe it feels like there's movement. And even the star looked like it moved when I look at it today. So it looks like it's in this like trajectory to go up. And the star is so much about, for me, um, finding that inner center of self and finding that uh, soul place that is so deep within us that we recognize who we are, even if we don't always show who we are, we're getting back to that person. Uh, and to see the star moving is about putting that into practice for me. And even more importantly, uh, it's uh, it, there are like 10 little stars that are standing out and the red of the star is standing out. So to me, that is all about the action of putting your soul, yourself out there for other people, which is an incredibly powerful thing and it's actually really hard. So uh, this card is pretty intense, uh, especially if, for me and a lot of the work that I'm doing right now, I'm putting myself on the line with a lot of things. So I resonate with this. It makes complete sense to me. And I know some of you are in the same space. So uh, I hope this is helpful. If it is, please definitely share it with other people. I saw uh, you share some already. Uh, thanks to Ten and Geneva. I really appreciate you throwing it out there. The other thing I want to make sure and share with you is that I've got this passionate, um, course coming up to help people find their passion if you're not sure what it is. I don't think it's your job. And if that confuses you, you definitely want to find out more about that passion course. You can find out more at comingouttarot.com. But uh, one of the things that I heard from people is that it's really hard to get started on your passion or even figure out what it is because life gets in the way or other barriers like confidence. And confidence was the first thing I heard over and over and over and over again as a major theme of being able to pursue that passion business that you'd like to be a part of. So as people who are experiencing trying to get into that passionate space and it's really kind of hard to get there because confidence is a problem, I've built this challenge that is totally free in a way for us to build confidence together uh, because I think it's something that for better or worse I may have been born with <laughs> and I sat down and figure out what is it that makes me confident and how do I get to be confident and what do I see in other people that exudes confidence what is that confidence thing and I I figured out it's about um, value it's about image and it's about oh I always forget that a I'm gonna have to look it up uh, so value, the kind of value we bring to the table and are people gonna judge us for it? Image, how do we look? Do we look right for whatever it is that we're trying to do? Sometimes it's body image. So we have all these, um, these uh, categories that we place on what it means to be confident. And I think it's worthwhile to think through which category do you land in and what's the best way to uh, find confidence in those categories or in the one that you feel like you'd have more confidence in. So you can find out more about that by coming up 
going to comingoutterror.com, there's a big button that says confidence. Click on that confidence button and that'll get you more information about what this challenge is and how it's going to work. It's starting on April 3rd, so go find out more about it and let other people know who might be in the same space trying to get their passion started or not quite sure how to get going or they've started a little bit and they don't know what to do next. Uh, the best part is, is once we're done with that confidence building thing, then you're ready to get into that passion course. Then uh, you've identified and created your passion and then I've got some great resources after that that I'd love to connect you with to help you uh, take that uh, confidence and that passion and actively create something with it so uh, if that sounds great for you then go check out more coming out tarot.com click on that confidence button or that um, yeah confidence button and you'll find out more about how that works so thanks everybody happy Wednesday and I'll see you all tomorrow